Jackson Radio Show. Legal immigration is down. Trump cut my taxes. I make $52 more a paycheck because of Donald Trump. That's right. And guess what? As a single guy, my standard deduction is actually doubled when I file taxes in 2018. And let's talk about these tariffs. We got 1,000 jobs coming to Lorain County, Ohio. So thank you to Ohio. Shout out for <laughs> <laughs> for winning. That's right. I mean, jobs are coming back uh, from Mexico to Michigan. Trump has accomplished so much in one year, it really is not a tough sell to bring people over. But the difference is what we're going to do in going towards November is we're going to be positive and energized and motivating and inspirational. We're not going to be the party of hate like the other side. We're going to focus on accomplishments and achievements. And we truly, we love our country. I am proud to be an American. And look at what Trump is doing. He's trying to accomplish world peace literally something that neither Obama, Clinton, Bush was able to do to meet with North Korea. This is history in the making, what we're doing with Kim Jong-un. So I, I am so proud I voted for Donald Trump. School walkout day. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It was yesterday, school walkout day. And I don't get, what, what are you hoping to accomplish here? By the way, I'm glad they walked out. I hope the teachers walk out. They don't get a day of pay. Congratulations to the taxpayers. Take a vacation day. Do something else. I don't care. I teaching these kids anything anyway. Teaching them that, oh, we care about your safety, kids. We care about your futures. Man, just look at the state of education. Education is such a ruse. It 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 would be a, considered a Ponzi scheme if it were put into the, pub, the private sector. If private sector schools could do what the public sector schools did, it would be, there's no question it would be ruled illegal. People would be in prison for it, particularly if you looked at the outcomes. And don't even get me started when you lay it down by ethnicity. That's a whole other can of worms. Wow. National walkout. National school walkout day is what they're calling it. National school walkout day. So all these kids got together. Why? Because, oh, you know, the guns in our schools. Are, and I'd love to see where all the schools walked out. Oh, they I think they did. Then they do like 17 minutes of of nothing like, you know, of silence or something. One minute for each child that was killed at Park in Parkland. Yeah, I, I would love to know how many how many minutes of silence they want to have in a year's worth of killings in Chicago, because that could take quite a bit of time, if you know what I'm saying. Or what about just inner city killings around the country? Don't let's just not limit Chicago. Chicago, in comparison, is not really that dangerous. There are much da- more dangerous places in Chicago. Baltimore's more dangerous. St. Louis is probably the most dangerous city in the country per capita. It absolutely is. Lots of killings. Yeah. So, you know, where's that minute of silence? Yeah, they should give every kid a 40 and then, you know, they do the minute of silence and they all pour a little bit of the drink out, you know, like for, for their, for their buddy, for their homie. These kids don't, don't know the kids that died in these schools, nor do they care. They've been told to do something. They can get out of school. If you do this, you can get out of school. You get out of school. I'd probably be doing it. Let's be honest. If they said, look, you can get out of school <laughs> free day for you. And unless you had perfect attendance riding on it or something, I'd be like, shoot, I'm staying. I'm going to I'm going to ride out the national day of whatever and go shoot me some hoops. Students across the country expected to walk out of their classrooms and they did. National school walkout. 10 a.m. yesterday. 17 minutes for each, you know, one for each. If you're a student that you know thinks of taking part of this, you probably have a lot of questions. Can the school retaliate? Will it hurt your chances of college? Can you stay home for the day? So CNN posted this article that was that gave everybody answers. Can my school punish me for taking part? If you're just participating, your school can, since students are required to be in school. But many won't, as long as the students aren't being disruptive. Remember. Students have a First Amendment right to protest, just like anybody else. The landmark Tinker versus Des Moines case pretty much settled that legal question. Yet if the Supreme Court 
rules students don't, quote, share their constitutional rights or freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. So they said some students could hit students who walk out with an unexcused absence. That could be a bigger problem if a student already has a lot of those. Extra one could be, you know, they, they end up being considered truant. Can I be arrested? Generally, students don't have to worry about being arrested unless, of course, they break laws, blocking a street and so on and so forth. Yeah, don't be doing like Black Black Lives Matter because then you might go to, to jail, little white kids. Can a teacher force me to write a letter or essay as a condition for participating? Some districts are telling students they have to write a letter or essay on the topic of gun reform, for example, or civil disobedience. He says in order to participate, and they say that's OK. School can assign work to students. And students don't have a constitutional right to not do work. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? It seems to be a sensible way for a school to teach students lessons on civics and citizenship. Here was the next question. Can a teacher schedule a test during the walkout? Yes. If the test was already scheduled and is part of the curriculum, that's perfectly fine. But if the test's sole purpose is to keep students from walking out, that's problematic. Schools generally have the discretion to schedule tests when they want. Pop quiz. Pop quiz on walkout day. That's what I say. They said they called these practices a vindictive exercise that waste an opportunity for teachers to teach students how to be an adult in this world. Yeah, because the schools do such an amazing job teaching kids how to be adults. Here was the. Last and final question that they ask of it. Will participate? No, it isn't the last question. Sorry. Will participating hurt my chance of getting into college? From Yale to Tulane to UCLA, uh, these colleges have already come out uh, and told prospective students that unexcused absences or other consequences resulting from the wa- walkout won't affect their admission into schools. But there's no guarantee other schools won't take a different tack. If a college does hold participation in the walkout against an applicant, There's not much a student can do except maybe apply to another school. Can my parents sign me out of uh, class for the walkout? It's okay for parents to take their kids out of school for a time period of the walkout for the entire day if they wish. Of course, motivations may be different. Some uh, some parents may want to sign their children in is what they're saying. Hmm. All right. They want them to participate. Here's another question. Do I stay on campus when my walkout... When I uh, when I walk out, students don't lose their First Amendments when they step off campus and schools can't force students to stay on campus. By the way, I talked about this the other day. Have you looked at campuses these days? They are fortresses. So I don't know. But anyway, they, they apparently they do not did not have to stay on campus. When I was watching it, I saw uh, kids walking off campus. If I go to a private school, what are my rights? None under the First Amendment while in school. So says Hamio, private schools have a little more leeway in telling students yes or no about taking part in the walkout. Those students must adhere to the school's policies, which might outright forbid them from taking part in the, in the walkout. See, this is what's interesting between the public and private sector. That That's a perfect example. Here's number nine. I'm not a U.S. citizen. Do I still have the First Amendment right to protest? Both Wisner and Hamio referring specifically to students in Wisconsin where she practices law, says as far as the walkout is concerned, non-citizen students are viewed as having the same rights as the citizen students they are protesting with, at least while the walkout or the protest stays on campus. They have the same rights, but where they should be cautious is in participating in off-campus stuff. Not only would they have to deal with criminal law if something happened during the protest off-campus, but they might have to deal with immigration law as well. So what they're saying is, Non-citizens have their first have First Amendment rights according to our Constitution. No, not true. What non-citizens have is they have a right to speak up for themselves and say, I'm here illegally, but that doesn't preclude my right to protest whatever I choose to protest or whatever, but I also have to suffer the consequences of that. Oh, man, this is crazy stuff. What else we got? What happens if I don't walk out? Well, it says here, Students who don't wish to join either because they don't agree with the cause or just don't want their school day interrupted or whatever shouldn't be punished or retaliated against. It's not a legal question, but they have the right to remain in a safe school environment. Uh, Then they better walk out. Next question. Can a teacher join in the walkout? Now, this is a little tricky 
Most schools have policies that allow teachers to take part in political causes, but on their own time, not when they're working for the school district. Schools have a right to require teachers to teach. Really, I'm shocked during teaching hours, during school hours. Wisner said, and teachers have a very limited First Amendment right to participate in a walkout during school hours for a political cause. But schools may actually want teachers out with their students. So we've paid for these teachers to teach. But no, the school could very well say, we don't care if you teach. Go participate in a walkout that's against guns, an anti-gun thing, because that's our stance on it. We got the teachers union behind you that'll back you up. Oh, man. Crazy stuff going on in the world, folks. I think the walkout is good for the kids for this reason. They don't have to put up with another day of indoctrination because that's all they're getting anyway. We'll be back. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.